Right now at 5.30, parents upset in Westchester County, wondering if their kids were put at risk after their school was shut down without warning. Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. Welcome back here at 5.30, I'm Maurice Dubois, a top-rated suburban school district forced to close an elementary school. The state is saying it was highly critical of Blind Brook Schools for opening the building without a proper certificate of occupancy. As you can imagine, a lot of parents are angry, worried that maybe their children were put at risk. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. With school closed, some students played catch, while others protested outside Ridge Street Elementary in Rye Brook. Very disappointed because I love going to school. Ridge Street is in the middle of a massive renovation and addition project. The building opened Monday and held classes all week, even as construction proceeded. Then, this letter from the state education commissioner closing the school Friday, saying the Blindbrook district was using space for instruction without appropriate inspection and other approvals. It does raise some red flags. I'm hoping that this is some red tape and that hopefully, you know, they weren't sitting in a building that was unsafe because I would really hope that the higher ups would not allow them to be in a building that was not safe. After an email from the superintendent claimed no children were put at risk, the state's response was scathing, revealing the violations included non-functional alarm systems and non-functional sprinklers, saying the Blindbrook decision to open Ridge Street without approvals showed, quote, brazen, perhaps criminal disregard. I'm just confused. I want to understand what's going on. Several parents told me they are livid. They learned about the closure from an online news article, not from a district email. The board president apologized, and the district promised to submit all the required inspection certificates to the state and reopen the school as soon as possible. It's clear the closure has opened lingering issues of trust. I think I don't trust anybody at this point. It's so upsetting that I feel like we've kind of been lied to. The state called the problems multiple serious violations, saying it is, quote, unfathomable. The district didn't close the school until the state issued an emergency directive. In Rybrook, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And just minutes ago, the school board said it is outraged by the allegations made by the state education department, claiming it had a valid certificate of occupancy for the school until the state revoked it Wednesday night.